It is the imminent and done deals right about here at the Arsenal chapter. We've got quite a lot to talk about. We've got a lot of information. As you already know, the club Arsenal is trying its level best to make sure that they can get some signings. Has anybody signed? Is it official? Who's been linked to the club? Who is it a rumor? Who's not coming and being talked about in uh, the news? And we've got quite a big number of football players to talk about. We've got uh, Kai Havers, Ilke Gundwan, Declan Rice, Mouse Diabe, Yurian Timba, Romeo Lavia, uh, Romeo Lavia, and Axel Disasi also in there plus uh many more also talking about who's leaving the club who is interested in a stay in the club anyway let's take let's get the party started i've said hello have i hello everyone i thank you for being part of the arsenal chapter and make up on subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss it whatever we've definitely got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is arsenal related right about here at the arsenal chapter with me your host Abu Carls. Very many football players could be leaving the club, Arsenal, and we might be, uh, we're going to be seeing quite a big number of football players coming to the club, Arsenal. It will be remembered that Saudi money, Saudi money is definitely doing a good, a great thing in the Premier League. With uh, many sports personalities coming and saying there should be great investigation investigations about Saudi money and there should be an embargo on who is definitely going to Saudi. They sh it should be put to a stop because it's crazy money they are giving out. We could be seeing uh, the love of football dying. Anyway, uh, those were words of some uh, sports analysts and also sports lovers and also uh, football players who've had to play some good football in their years anyway let's get the party started whom should we start with let's start with declan rice let's get this going so it will be remember that declan rice is uh a good football player, English professional football player, 24 years of age, is a defensive midfielder and captains the Premier League club at West Ham and also plays in the English national team. We'll be remembered that Declan Rice has been playing quite well for a long period of time as a defensive midfielder and quite a big number of clubs are very interested in him. A very big number of clubs have definitely been on the line to get the football player but uh, definitely things have not gone quite well for any of them apart from the club Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal is advancing in talks but we've got good, we've got news about him and Arsenal the fact that uh, um, the fact that uh, uh, the, uh, there is a bid yet that has been rejected now I think this is the third bid that West Ham has has uh, has rejected from uh, their football player will be remembered that uh, uh, Arsenal had the first bid as 80 million pound. We had another uh, Arsenal had another bid that was unknown that also was definitely taken away. It was reversed. It was I don't know how I can call it. it was rejected with immediate effect. It was definitely rejected, and right about now another bid has been in and it's been rejected one more time however Arsenal are looking at different opportunities different uh, uh Arsenal are looking at different priorities and opportunities on how they can uh, get this transfer done so uh, West Ham rejected another bid from Arsenal uh, from the English midfielder and that didn't go on quite well we'll remember that uh, West Ham uh, rejected a second bid from Arsenal uh, for the captain Declan Rice. It is understood that the Gunners' latest offer uh, for the 24-year-old English player and the midfielder could have been worth around 90 million plus, 90 million pound plus, oh, slightly plus 90 million pound in the total to the Hammers. But Arsenal has tried this level best. I mean, getting that amount, that's quite a lot of money and putting it in in the uh, for the football player it can it definitely shows you how much Arsenal is willing to get Declan Rice trying to make sure they can get the football player but things definitely are not going on quite well for the club uh Arsenal but hopefully Arsenal will get a football player but there are also other parties that are in this game there are definitely other parties that are in this game there are parties that are uh interested in uh the Declan Rice transfer not forgetting the likes of uh the likes of uh, Manchester City, which is their 
just observing what will definitely be transpiring in the they are, Manchester City is expected to put in a bid but uh, Arsenal are saying if you put in a bid I'm also still bidding the fact that Arsenal has gone to 90 million pound that definitely is something that's great you know uh, Arsenal's record um, a bid was uh, it was 72 million pound and that is something like quite a big number 18 million pound in excess and it's been rejected but Arsenal are in good faith they definitely are saying that things will go on quite well for them one more time and they'll definitely get Declan Rice once everything is said Declan Rice is not going to Europe he's not interested in a, a move away from uh, the Premier League and that is also something to talk about but yet uh, that, I think that will definitely be another day Okay, let's talk about yet another football player, but Declan Rice's uh, a possible move to the club, Arsenal, is quite high. It's imminent. It's definitely very, very high. We've got quite big possibilities of uh, Declan Rice moving to the club, Arsenal, because when you see which clubs are very interested, you know there is a difference between interest and want, not if actual wanting to and going for the player other clubs have showed just interest and they have not gone forward to make bids and with Arsenal Arsenal has showed interest and gone on and made the first bid the first bid and made the second bid definitely you can see the fact that he went on to reach 90 million pound and from sources we uh, from sources is being said that Arsenal are preparing yet another bid but they are not willing to pay 120 million pound to West Ham that's quite a lot of money. Though West Ham thinks, West Ham is very uh, sure that they are going to be paying uh, 120. Any club, a, a certain club is going to come out and pay 120 million pounds for uh, Declan Rice. But that might not happen. Look around, which club is going to be paying 120 million pounds? I know Manchester City could be in a position, uh, has the money to pay uh, 120 million pounds. But they are also trying to avoid FFP rules. But uh, the club Arsenal is one club that is very clean when it comes to FFP rules. Very clean. So Arsenal stand the biggest of advantages to sign the football player. Anyway, let's get the party going. Uh, that's be it been uh, for uh, Declan Rice. Let's talk about yet another uh, football player today. And uh, the other football player uh, today that we are talking about is Urian Timber. Uh, should we talk about Urian team but now or we should talk about Romeo Lavia? We've got Mausa Diabe. Let's talk about Romeo Lavia. Anyway, uh, Romeo Lavia, who is a very wonderful football player, he's been playing quite well for quite a good period of time and uh, still a very young football player, 20 years of age. You can definitely tell how, uh, how, what the future has for him. He has quite a good future. Romeo Lavia. So the Belgian national uh, is a Belgian football player, uh, still very young and uh, definitely uh, you can tell that he's been playing for uh, Southampton and he's helped Southampton here and there. But Southampton went to, for relegation, went into relegation and things have not been going on quite well for Southampton. But singling him out as a football player in the season uh, 2023, 2022, 2023, He's definitely been playing quite well. He is, Romeo Lavia is a defensive midfielder, isn't he? He's a defensive midfielder and uh, he's been playing a bit well. He's been playing quite well and Arsenal are looking for a defensive midfielder that can definitely fit in there. And uh, the name Romeo Lavia is definitely in there. He could be one for the future, but Arsenal stands still and uh, they think they are definitely are going to be getting quite a lot out of this transfer. They're going to be getting a very good young football player, one for the next generation. But also we'll remember that Mikel Ateta likes such young football players, such young talent. So uh, we are most likely going to be seeing uh, Romeo Lavia going to the club Arsenal. There is a big possibility that uh, there is a, that he's going to go to Arsenal because the amount of money that is needed for Romeo Lavia isn't quite a lot. It's not a lot really. Uh, let's, but let's wait and see. Uh, we can see how much uh, L Romeo Lavia, uh, let's see his transfer value on the transfer markets. 
Okay, you will remember that uh, uh, Arsenal is expected to pay. Arsenal is expected to cough about £40 million pound to £50 million pound to sign Lavia this summer. And according to the Daily Mail, that is it. The high, definition, the high valuation of the Belgian is said to be down to three clauses inserted into his contract. So between £40 million pound to £50 million, pound, that is affordable for the club Arsenal. You know, Arsenal can afford any football player. Paul. They always try and get these football players young and also a little bit cheap. So 40 million to 50 million pounds. I would, I would love to think that it's quite a lot of money for Romeo Lavia. A little bit, well, that's quite a lot. But I'm sure also that Arsenal will not settle for 40 to 30 million pounds. I'm sure they will negotiate. Arsenal will try and negotiate and get Romeo Lavia in a range of around 30 to 35 around there i don't think he will go beyond uh to from 35 to 40 there is a very minimum uh chance of us not going for romeo lavia at that amount of money but looking at how he's been playing definitely it's been quite a good one undoubtedly he's been a very good football player and uh there is nothing that can stop us not from having him but paying the 40 to 50 million pound i would reckon that is quite a little bit high Arsenal should go quite a little bit lower for Romeo Lavia. Anyway, uh, Romeo Lavia's move to the club. Arsenal, it is said that um, Romeo Lavia has definitely had talks with He's had talks with the club Arsenal, and everything is definitely going on quite well for him. He's in agreement with Arsenal. He's looking at leaving the club Southampton because such a good football player going into EFL Championship is not a good thing. There are quite a number of clubs that are interested in him, but his interest is solid and only in Arsenal. But Manchester City has been also looking at him with Manchester United showing a bit of interest, Newcastle United showing quite a lot of interest, Arsenal still are the favorites in this transfer let's get to yet another football player uh let's get to yet another football player and who is that who, who is that i've uh, talked about romeo lavia i've talked about declan rice then let's get to axo di sassi so uh axo di sassi is a very good football player also plays for france and uh, he's building to quite a big number of clubs and uh, there are two football clubs that are very interested in axo wilson arthur di sassi marquinis belho who is a french professional football player and also plays as a defender for league one club monaco and also uh, the france national team you'll be remember that he's 25 years of age and definitely uh that shows you that he can have a three-year contract with the club arsenal until he is around 28 29 he will definitely be doing okay his height is 1.9 meters that is quite fine for a defender and his current teams being as monaco he's been playing quite well and undoubtedly there is no reason whatsoever as to why arsenal shouldn't sign axo disassi however axo disassi is not uh, very much linked to arsenal there is arsenal showed a bit of interest in axo disassi but there, are, there is yet another club that has showed much more interest and Arsenal could be backing off from the Axel de Sassi transfer. Manchester United is the club that is interested in Axel de Sassi and they are saying, Manchester United are saying they are willing to give him what, whatever money it takes to get him as long as it is reasonable. And that puts Arsenal a little bit down because Arsenal is always not ready to go into bidding wars with football clubs. And right about now, Axel de Sassi could be out of Arsenal transfers reach. But it is not 100% that Axel de Sassi is out. There is still the slightest of chances for Axel de Sassi to join the club. But I will repeat for you, it is the slightest of chances. Uh, Arsenal stand yet a very small chance of getting him because his interest is even not in Arsenal. His interest is at Manchester United. But if there is money, a football player can always go to a club, even if he doesn't desire going there, as long as the money is there. However, uh, with this transfer, we are definitely most likely going to see Arsenal pulling out of this transfer 
100%. Let's get to yet another football player. Let's talk about Urian Timber. So, uh, let's talk about Urian Timber. Urian Timber, he is a professional football player, still very young and also uh, quite good. He's a very good defender. The fact that Arsenal are looking for a defender, a very good defender, definitely Urian Timber is in the picture. He's just come to limelight uh, of recent He's not been talked about. At first, he was uh, being linked to other clubs. He was first linked to he was first linked to Manchester United in the summer transfer window, and we po probably thought he would be going to Manchester United. You know, Lisandro Martinez was linked to Arsenal, and Arsenal uh, tried to get a few bids of Lisandro Martinez, but he ended up at Manchester United. But right about now. Uh, the football player has been linked to the club Arsenal. Let's hope he doesn't go to Manchester United. But there is no chance for him going to Manchester United. Because when you see what he's said, him as a football player, he definitely would like to play for the club Arsenal. And uh, Urian Timber is a Dutch professional football player and plays as a defender for the Eredivisie club. Ajax Amsterdam and also the Netherlands national team is a big fan of the club Arsenal. And that should definitely be easy for him to move to the club Arsenal. No. And also, it should be easy for the transfers to take place. As you already know, the Arsenal are in full swing, interested in Urian Timber. They have said they are willing to pay uh, close to something like £50 million, uh, something close to that. But that was from different sources. But uh, when, I, when I checked, uh, when I checked, uh, Urian Timber's market value and what they definitely want, what X Amsterdam wants. X Amsterdam wants fifty million pound, and uh, uh, different sources are saying Arsenal is willing to pay fifty million pound. I think that is definitely wrong. Arsenal isn't a club that is going to pay a release clause that has just been set by. Uh, a club. No way. They always want to go into uh, bidding. They definitely always want to go uh, not into bidding, but negotiations. Try and negotiate deals. And right about now that uh, it's £50 million pound that Ajax Amsterdam wants, I will say Arsenal will be paying around 30 to £40 million pound and not more than 40 30 will be okay. 35 will be okay. But Arsenal will not be paying more than £40 million pound for uh, Urian Timber. And as I think Ajax Amsterdam should be in a position of uh, getting uh, rid of Urian Timber and uh, sending him to the club Arsenal. Let us know what you think of Urian Timber, whether you think he should definitely be at the club Arsenal or whether you think it could be yet another wasted opportunity. Anyway, uh, let us know in the comment section. Let's move to yet another football player as it is the third uh, it is the third episode in uh, it's the third episode in the uh, imminent and done deals right about here at the Arsenal chapter. Anyway, let's get to uh, Moussa Diabe. So Moussa Diabe also is a very wonderful one and he's been playing quite well. He's definitely been playing a bit well. He's been playing quite well. Moussa Diabe is a French professional football player and has been playing uh, for some good time. Uh, Moussa Diabe He's been playing for the French national team and he's been linked to a number of clubs. It's not Manchester United on Manchester United and Arsenal that are only interested in Moussa Diabe. Newcastle also is very much into the Moussa Diabe uh, uh, is it the Moussa Diabe deal and transfer. Uh, 23 years, he's 23 years of age and at this moment in time he's playing quite well, he's still a very good one uh, he plays as a winger and Arsenal is looking for a winger uh, for, uh, he's, he's playing for Bayer Leverkusen and Bayer Leverkusen has said if any club definitely comes up and uh, gives them the amount of money they want they are willing to let go of Moussa Diabe. General transfer window Moussa Diabe was linked to the club Arsenal but he ended up not going to the club Arsenal and uh, right about now now, we are in the summer transfer window and he's heavily linked to the club Arsenal. Let's hope that Arsenal is going to be sealing this deal as everything is almost imminent about this deal. Everything going on quite well or as planned. Moussa Diabe could be joining the club Arsenal. As talks have been in place, Moussa Diabe has had a few talks with uh, the club Arsenal and Moussa Diabe's agents have had, has had, have had talks with Arsenal about how much he could definitely be getting per week. So, 
I think definitely that could be a good thing for the club Arsenal. Uh, let's wait and see where all these Texas for Arsenal are in good shape. Anyway, and talking about a little bit about uh, about Mouse Diabe, and also we could be moving up, we could be moving to yet another superstar, Ilke Gundwan and uh, Kai Havers. Let's talk about Ilke Gundwa now. Let's get into Ilke Gundwa. Let's talk a little bit about Ilke Gundwa before we move to Kai Havis. Ilke Gundwa is a, a German professional football player and also plays as a midfielder for a Premier League club Manchester City. In nine days, he will be off. I will no longer be a Manchester City football player in nine days. So he might as well make his decision right about now. He might say, I'm definitely leaving Manchester City. However, Manchester City stand at the slightest of chances. There is a big, a small chance that he could remain at Manchester City. But Arsenal are trying their level best to make sure things go on quite well. As a double swoop is what Arsenal is trying to get. As it happened a few months ago with Alexander Zinchenko and uh gabriel martinez uh who's that sorry not gabriel martinez but Mat uh, uh gabriel jesus sorry gabriel jesus with with gabriel jesus joining uh with alexander zinchenko with the club arsenal uh, there is a big possibility that we could be seeing yet two other football players from the clubs uh from the club uh manchester city moving or crossing over to the club arsenal from manchester to london and right about now the two football players are joa Cancelo and um in uh ilke gundwan so we could be seeing ilke gundwan making a proper move making a move to the club arsenal as he's gonna be a free agent any time from now nine days to go and manchester city trying to talk him every other day talk him through tell him please remain at the club manchester city but you had the option to give him a long-term contract and you didn't and arsenal are in a better position as he is definitely looking at making sure that he can uh sign for the club arsenal let's hope everything will definitely go on quite well for the club arsenal and ilke gundwan is arsenal is willing to pay any amount of money available uh, to him any amount of money to him in terms of salary to make sure that he gets a good wage and that's what they are trying to discuss with him make sure that he gets a good wage and the fact that arsenal is going to be getting him as a free agent there is no contract fee definitely that is going to be quite quite good for the club arsenal let's see where this will definitely take us where we are heading with this transfer but things are definitely going on quite well for the club arsenal in the ilke gundwan transfer as it is a very big possibility for ilke gundwan to join at the club arsenal very big possibility and fingers crossed we are most likely going to be seeing ilke gundwan moving to the club arsenal Anyway, let's get to yet another football player, and that is none other than uh, Kai Havers. So, a lot has happened for Kai Havers, and I can confirm to you that right about now, as I speak, Kai Havers is an Arsenal football player. I must say, everything is set for Kai Havers to uh, start playing for Arsenal. Every little thing, Kai Havers definitely... It's been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. It's been confirmed by um, uh, David Oinstein. Every little thing about him has definitely been confirmed and things are going on quite well for the club Arsenal. So uh, what has Fabrizio Romano said about uh, Kai Havis? Let's get into this. So he, Fabrizio Romano says it's £60 million that has been agreed on a fee. Uh, that's the agreed fee, £60 million, and add-ons are £5 million. And uh, then a long-term deal agreed has been some... Uh, it's been a long-term deal agreed. Then uh, medical tests are expected to be scheduled very soon, and then Harvest will sign a contract most likely any time from now. Our documents are being prepared. Everything is set. Kai Harvest is going to be an Arsenal football player. Hear it from nobody, Kai Havers is going to be an Arsenal football player. However, it will be remembered that uh, <coughs> it's a big decision that Kai Havers has made because Kai Havers has said no. Kai Havers has said no to Saudi money 
uh, that Saudi Arabia has been trying to make sure that they can give him quite a lot of money and so that he can go and play in Saudi Arabia. But he's rejected that amount of money. Talking about Saudi money, it understood uh, uh, Saudi clubs have been preparing uh, 40 million pound in installments to Arsenal for Thomas Pate. He's a concrete option for Saudi. His exit is possible as revealed on Sunday. Anyway, that we could be seeing him, we could be seeing Thomas Pate moving to Saudi Arabia as uh, um, the current manager, Mikel Ateta, is no longer very sure about him and looking for a perfect replacement. There is quite a lot of money in the Saudi club, in, in Saudi clubs. Saudi Arabia is trying to make sure that they can uh, get quite a lot of uh, players. A lot of money, a lot of oil money being splashed out there. Anyway, let's get uh, going with Kai Havis. As I told you, uh, Kai Havis definitely is most likely going to be an Arsenal football player. And right about now, we should say it's 99%, just 1% of uncertainties. For 99%, Kai Havis is an Arsenal football player. Undoubtedly, within, with no doubt, everything go, has been going on quite well for the club. Arsenal and Kai Havis. Kai Havis has pushed this Arsenal move. Asno contacted Kai Havis to make sure that he can play for them. And when Asno contacted him, uh, he was very positive. He was very pos positive about this project. And he's definitely given Asno green lights and said, I'm ready to sign for you and more than ready to come and play for you. So all you need to do is just make sure you pay a good amount of money uh, for me. Uh, make Chelsea happy and I will definitely be in for a move. So uh, right about now, let's hope things definitely will be going on quite well for the club Arsenal and also for Kai Havers as Kai Havers is definitely seen as one of those football players that could be uh, changing the play, the game of play in the club Arsenal and it could be bringing quite a lot to the club Arsenal. What do you think about Kai Havers and him joining the club Arsenal? Uh, let us know in the comment section and please subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on whatever we've definitely got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is Arsenal related right about here at the Arsenal chapter with me your host Abu Carls. Thank you and goodbye for now.